Right everyone, Rap Collector here. I thought I'd do a video of myself putting together one of my bayonets. So this, this definitely isn't a tutorial, because uh, I don't really want other people making these. But you can make them yourself if you want. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a video showing them being made, so that people will actually know that new ones are coming as well. Because there's been a delay, a long delay, almost six months or more delay from when I did the last video and people put a load of orders in I just haven't been able to catch up with it so I am making them now now that I've got the new drill that's making things so much easier so I'll put one together and you can see how I do it but it won't be fully um, you won't see the whole process because I've already done some of it all right all right so what I've got here is the handle this is the perfect thickness to go inside a one inch scope mount You've got the aluminium sort of collar bit that goes over the cocking handle and then you have the rough blade that goes inside. So the first thing I'll do I think is finish off shaping this blade. Obviously it's just been rough cut. I need to take off this finish, shape the blade, put the point on because I don't sharpen them because it's cocking aid but it's still pointy so it could still penetrate and yeah then I can start working on the other bits Right, so that's the blade shaped as much as it needs to be. So it's pointy but smooth edges, so you can cock but it could still penetrate something if you wanted to. Now I need to smooth over the edges of the front plate bit. don't need to go too badly um, smooth with this because this will be sprayed over anyway so as long as the edges are um, smoothed over that's enough rounded over it doesn't have to be fully done but I'll give this a bit of a rub on some sandpaper and then just round over the edges of this hole Right, so that's the little front plate finished if you're going to spray it black, which I am. So it doesn't really need to be finished to a perfect condition because it's going to be sprayed black anyway. Right, so now I need to do the insert that goes in the handle to stop the blade moving left and right. So this is just a piece of wood that I shaped. So I'll put some glue on and I can put the knife together.
like that split but it doesn't actually really matter because it's going to be all sandwiched together anyway that does happen sometimes but it's not a big deal So that is absolutely rock solid as it is anyway. No wobble, no movement in anything. So check the blade is straight. Sometimes they're not, but you can bend it now. Doesn't really matter at this point. That looks pretty good. May not look perfect on this camera because it's got a weird fisheye lens. So now I just need to, I'm gonna put some little wedges in the side of here to make sure it's really solid. Saves me having to wait for the glue to dry. Just tip off this little bit here. And then I can fill that end in with a bit of glue. I can now drill the holes for the pins. So I've got a jig here that holds the blade in. It's got two holes. So I can just drill straight down. Just the holes drilled nice and straight as well which I used to have an issue with and yeah I used to struggle to drill those holes really without the pillar drill so now I just need to tidy up the ends of these nails put these through these will be the rivets right I've lost my little ball peen now so I'm gonna have to use this massive one while I'm here I'll give you a little tip on um, peening over nails I used to try this and it never used to work but I've got the technique down now and what I tend to do is, as I'm going round, I tend to try and hit on the edge of the nail rather than flat down on it. So I'm essentially hitting on the sides of it. And as you can see, that's pretty quickly started turning over. Don't hit too hard because another thing you can do is start to bend the nails. So you just have to be reasonably careful. The thicker the nail, the easier it is though. I've, I've tried this with thin nails, it never works. This is about as thin as I would go. I may attempt thinner ones now I've got the technique down, but um, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, put it that way. The advantage you get with this being all metal though is even if the rivets do bend it's not really going to affect anything. Last thing I do is fill in the back with some hot glue. Makes a nice little cap for it. Normally leave a bit more um, of a gap though on this one. So I don't need to put a lot in this one. Right, so there you go. One pistol crossbow bayonet and I think they look quite good like that with the black um, certainly stops from going rusty I don't know how durable this paint is but you know it's the best I can do with what I've got um, considering I don't actually raise the prices you know not much people can complain about but yeah really sturdy little thing so partly why I did this video I wanted people to know that the bayonets are being made again this isn't the only one I've made today. There's three been made today, and I've got another six 
that are sort of three quarters of the way done so plenty to come what and actually I'll say while I'm here if you were one of the people who did actually ask for a bayonet at the beginning of the year you will still get the first lot of the bayonets that are made now so I'll be going on my emails getting hold of the people who asked first it's always first come first serve I'll ask you if you still want one and if you haven't replied within about two weeks I'll just move up the list so yeah but they are coming it was just I had a delay but now I've got that drill that makes things so much more easy and quicker now so there you go bayonets are coming all right hope you enjoyed it see you later